When we started the Center for Economic and Social Rights 20 years ago, uh, we were really stepping into a void. There was almost no work in the field of economic and social rights. These were rights that had been systematically neglected by the mainstream human rights movement. Um, but at the same time, we thought this was a good moment. Uh, it happened to coincide with the Vienna Conference, uh, important moment in uh, human rights where the world got together and reaffirmed that all human rights, economic, social, cultural, civil, and political were equally important and indivisible. Uh, and it also was a couple of years after the end of the Cold War where we thought we'd have the ideological and political space to start talking about economic and social rights. So we framed our challenge as more practical. We wanted to show that economic and social rights advocacy could be as effective as traditional civil and political rights advocacy. And uh, that's what we did. On a shoestring, and very opportunistically, we went out to do our fact-finding, our missions. Uh, we framed issues as human rights. We brought our petitions to the international human rights bodies. Uh, and we proselytized for the importance of economic and social rights. And I think uh, 20 years on, CSR has a lot to be proud of. Uh, we helped host and launch uh, ESCRNet, the global network on economic and social rights. Uh, we spun off a very effective NGO in Latin America, CEDIS, uh, still out there advocating for economic and social rights in the region. Uh, we were there at the beginning of the Texaco Chevron lawsuit. It's become one of the largest litigations around human rights issues of our generation. Um, we had some seminal cases in front of the OAS and the, inter the African system, as well as a number of important interventions at the UN and in other global spaces. Uh, and we have continued under the very effective leadership of Ignacio and team uh, to, to do the country reports and to bring economic and social rights issues to a, a global audience. Uh, so I'm heartened by what we've accomplished over these 20 years and um, even as the world has changed around us and today of course we do have more jurisprudence, we have more acceptance of economic and social rights, uh, but the need for a group like CSR is just as critical and just as evident and uh, it's heartening to see the work of the group uh, thrive uh, and move forward.